What's up, Internet? If you haven't noticed, it's Mission 69. <laughs> Mission 69. Coming at you. <laughs> so it's November 2020, and uh, that's probably the most awkward uh, opening I think I've ever done. I think I pulled a hammy. Mission 69. Pretty big old box. Rather tall. Wide. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't know it. I can rhyme any time. Will you just look at that? We got the mission brief sitting up here on top. Mission brief right here. Mission brief 69. And I'm gonna jump right on in to the basic box. First up in the basic box, we've got the Lord and Field blanket sleeping bag strap. Now, I think all of us have used belts and we've used paracord and we used all kind of different kind of straps to roll up a, a sleep roll or a bed roll, some people call it blankets, sleeping bags, things like that. And it works, but it kind of sucks. What if you had something that was designed to do exactly that? Keep your sleeping bag or your bed roll or your blankets in check. We got one right here. Don't need that. You got two things you ain't supposed to eat. Get those out of here. So the Lord and Field blanket sleeping bag strap. You see right there, Lord and Field. Genuine leather. We've got really nice stitching here. Right there it says Bushcraft Blanket Sleeping Bag Carrier. So it's essentially a leather strap system. So you can take your, uh, your blanket, bedroll, sleeping bag, roll it up, and cinch it down with this. And then this area here acts as a carrying handle. There may be something in the box where I can show you how this works. So we're gonna move on to the next item. Yeehaw. I'll show you more on that here in a little bit. Hint, hint, you might be getting something that you can put in that strap. So second up in the basic box is the Piranha Fishbone 2.0 knotless rope tie. <laughs> That's a lot of words. Also in a very loud package. So you get some paracord there and then you get the cool little, I did a video on this. Some of you may have seen it. Um, if not, you can go back after this video and watch it. So what we have here, some directions and a sticker. You got a keychain. You can use that as a keychain if you want. The length of paracord and the fishbone knotless rope tie right there. This is called the Piranha. They've got another model um, that was before this one. So this is kind of a revamp and upgrade to their other model, kind of looks like a piranha fishbone or skeleton, if you will. So a really cool thing, a lot of people don't really know how to tie a lot of knots. A friend of mine, he's, he, he just keeps tying knots until it holds. Problem is, when you're ready to take that apart or loose, sometimes you can't, you just give up on it, cut your line or whatever. Even for the professional knot tire, knot smith, whatever you want to call yourself, this thing's gonna be really handy because it's quick and easy to use and it works great. I'm gonna undo it from this thing right here and show you real quick how to do it. It's got directions here. There's actually several different ways you can use this and you can come up with your own ideas and imagination because you've got through the eye there of the fish bone, you know, you can pass your cordage through that. So it's really cool for like guy lines. You could tie this to your tent or to your tarp or whatever and then go down around your stake or your peg or your tree or whatever that you may be hooking to, come back up, you can lash this on, and then using through that eye, you can go up you know, as, as a tensioner, and then when it gets tight, you know, you're getting tight, if you need to tighten it up or loosen it, all you gotta do is slide this up and down through the eye. So that's one way to use it. Other way to use it, what you want to do is you want to run your line towards the tail of the fish, like so, this way. And then you're going to wrap it, wrap it. So I went over that middle spine area, the back. and then pull it into that tail notch, and it's not going anywhere. Have you ever heard a fella 
tie something down or strap something down, the next thing he always says is, it's not going anywhere. You can't tie or fasten anything down without saying that when you're done. A lot of people find out that it does go somewhere later, <laughs> but confidence is good, right? So that's not going anywhere. So now you can run this around a tree, around whatever it is that you want to run it around, hook it into that hook right there. Now you can tighten down on whatever it is you're tightening, tighten, tying to. Now you just take this, wrap it around, pull it tight, it cinches under itself, and now you've got a loop around whatever it is you're tying, right? So really cool little, little piece of kit right there. No knots required, and that is the knotless rope tie, the fishbone piranha 2.0, yeehaw. I promise you it won't bite your flesh. So next up in the basic box is the Sun Company Zipper Comp. Zipper Comp, check that out. Navigation is, is one of the things that I think everybody needs to work on, myself included. So uh, when it comes to um, situations where you can't rely on you know, a GPS, a mobile device or anything like that, and you have to find direction or be able to navigate and understand all that, you really need to have a good compass on you. And there's tons of different compasses, there's tons of different things that you can do with compasses. But having a basic compass on you at all times where you can you know, find direction and do simple tasks, this little guy right here is pretty cool because you can just put it on a zipper pull of a backpack, your jacket, you know, anything like that, strap it to your uh, shoulder strap of your backpack. You got your cardinal points at the top, that shows you know your true north, and then you've got your heading on the sides here, or your direction on the sides here. So my north is this way, but reading here on the side, I'm facing west, right? So it automatically does that for you, and it's very well put together. Liquid field. And it's just quick and easy to read. It's got bright uh, colors on the letters here. So some of you may be a little bit confused when I say cardinal directions and heading or, or cardinal reading and heading or directional reading. So the very top right here, and I don't know how well the camera can pick it up. But maybe if I turn it this way, it'll pick it up a little bit. Better. But up on the top, you've got a small grid that's north, south, east, and west, and then it's got the arrow pointing north, right? But if you look right here as well, you see the north is over here by the south. Well, that's your direction. The top is what some compasses are like. You look at it, all you have is north, south, east, west, no matter how you turn it or look at it. This essentially has two increments of direction, I guess you would say. So yeah, I know my north is this way, but which way am I facing? And you've got a little uh, arrow right here. So if you hold it like this, my heading's west. So if I kept walking that way, I'm going west. So if I know I want to go north, you know, I turn like this, that way is north. And yeah, you can look at your cardinal and just go like this, but it's just easy for people that say, okay, my heading needs to be west. You don't ever have to look down necessarily and know, okay, there's my north, this way's west. All you, you can just hold it like this. Like right now, you guys are looking north-ish. It's just two ways of being able to read that, which is nice. Beats the brakes off a little button compass that, a lot, that are in a lot of survival kits. So last up in the basic box, we've got one of my most favorite products that I just, I just dig it. And of course it has to do with fire. Y'all know how I am with fire, right? Zippo Typhoon Match Kit. Now, I know in the past, some of you guys that's been subscribers for a while, we've already sent this. And it's very rare that we send the same thing twice. But here's the deal. Number one, this is a consumable. Number two, it's freaking awesome. So I know you guys used it and you want some more. Number three, we've got a lot of new customers that have seen the Southern Survival TV show on Netflix, which this was in episode one. We had a blast filming with this stuff. We actually sent some to Netflix for them to have, and they almost burnt the building down, I believe. So, <laughs> This being a consumable and this being a product that we stand behind, this, this stuff right here freaking works. If you need to start a fire in any condition, I don't care if it's windy, I don't care if it's you know raining, I don't care if it's 
below zero, if it's a thousand degrees outside, it don't matter. Hot, cold, wet, dry, freaking stuffy, humidity, I don't care, this thing right here is gonna help you start a fire every time. It's freaking sweet, and if you don't think so, you need to have your pulse checked. Something's wrong with you. Why is it awesome? Well, watch the TV show. You'll see, the freaking fire extinguisher can't even put these things out. You've gotta let it burn out. So what we have here is a waterproof case, okay? It's got a gasket here. You get, I think it's 15. Don't eat that. <laughs> don't eat that. You can keep them in this plastic bag if you want in here. You don't have to because this is a waterproof case. All right, leave one out because we're gonna play with it. Directions, we don't need directions. You get two extra strike pads right here and your pad conveniently goes down here on the bottom in another waterproof, weatherproof area. So when this wears out, you can just stick another one on there. You can't put these things out, right? You can dunk them in water, you can dunk them in dirt, hit them with a fire extinguisher, they'll come back to life. Oh, it's violent. Woo! Kind of reminds you of a sparkler, I'm sure, but uh, can't blow it out. Can't spit it out. So once it gets down to the bottom there, naturally it goes out. So there's your safeguard. We've got some water. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. Ooh, that's a sharp knife. Came in a battle box a few months back. Yeah. I don't recommend you play with these in the house because it will smoke the place up. I mean, if you're in the bathroom and you, you, know, you know how matches are in bathrooms, you know, this is probably the only match that'll take the stench away after Steve uses the bathroom. I'm just saying, so. So there we go, we got our match burning. We got us some water right here. I'll hold it up like this so y'all can see it. Still going. Swishing it around. Still going. Freaking awesome is that, man. The, the best match there is. Ooh, my fingers is getting hot. It burns extremely hot. <laughs> Proof's in the pudding, man. Awesome Christmas present. Stocking stuffer for the pyro in your family, like me. So that was your basic box. We got the tried and true Zippo uh, Typhoon match kit right here. We got the Piranha 2.0 from Fishbone, the knotless rope tie. We've got this really sweet little compass right here, the uh, zipper comp. And then we've got the uh, Lord and Field sleeping bag, uh, blanket, roll, uh, organizer. What's it called? Strap. Carrier. Carrier. Bag strap. <laughs> so now it's time for the advanced box. In the advanced box, we got one item this month. And this item right here, 47 months ago, we sent a similar item. It is a wool blanket. The wool blanket was probably one of the most popular items that was sent out back then. I mean, it's freaking, wool blankets are freaking awesome, all right? So the last one was kind of like a military green, uh, kind of your quintessential military wool blanket. If you've been in the military, you know all about the wool blanket. So a wool blanket is extremely versatile for many reasons. Number one, they're naturally fire retardant. Uh, they're, they're naturally water resistant. They keep you warm. Um, they're heavy, you know, if you like to have a heavy blanket, you can, do, you can do that. You can wear it as a garment. You can make a shelter out of it. You can do a ton of things with a wool blanket. It's kind of like a, a giant bandana. You know, there's tons of uses for a bandana. There's tons of uses for a wool blanket. So if you got a wool blanket, now you got another one because you need more than one. You can keep one with your bug out gear. You can keep one, definitely keep a couple of these in a vehicle during the winter time, okay? Um, the snow apocalypse comes and you're stuck in traffic or you have a breakdown, this guy right here is gonna help keep you warm, I promise you. If you're cooking brisket, you can wrap your brisket up in the wool blanket, let it rest for a couple hours. That thing's gonna be delicious when you get done with it. I'm telling you, wool blankets are awesome. I mean, this thing's massive. Wear it as a garment. Yeah, keep yourself nice and warm. Hopefully I didn't mess up the microphone. 
You can make a hammock out of these. You can make a chair out of these. I mean, all sorts of bushcraft uses for this. You got multiples in your family. You don't want nobody to be messing with your blanket. Sharpie belongs to right there. Look, look right here. Say, this is my blanket right here. See, turn. 1776. That's my blanket. I write my name on everything. Daniel can tell you that. And all my past co-workers can tell you that. Because if you were like me and you made your living with tools, you know that tools like to walk away, especially when you're working with other people. Um, I put my name on everything. <laughs> so if I can't find something and I see you got one and it's got my name on it, well, yeehaw, that's mine. Give it back. Now I get to show you this other Lord and Field product that was in the basic box real quick. So let me roll this bad boy up right here and I'll show it to you. Give me a second, mystery spot. Because <laughs> I ain't going to better roll it standing up. All right, I'm back. So, I mean, I'm sure all y'all have seen the old school, like, Easy Rider posters with the guy with the chopper, and he's got his bed roll wrapped up, you know, right there above his headlight at the riser of his handlebars. I mean, that can be you. So you just simply throw that over your, your bag, your sleeping bag or your bed roll. Kind of reminds me of uh, back in the day when all the school kids would strap their uh, their books by a belt, <laughs> their dad's leather belt. Maybe showing my age a little bit. I'm not that old, but I do remember seeing that. So there you go. So now you just grab your your blanket. You know, if you got this strapped down to the front of your motorcycle, yeah, you can take it off. And just grab it right there. Keeps everything right there in check, and there's plenty. There's plenty left over. So, if you've got you know a big thick sleeping bag, this will still work. If you got a pillow, if you wrapping up two or three blankets, you know you, you can put a pretty large blanket in there. But that's the basic idea of the uh, sleeping bag blanket bushcraft strap. Yeehaw! So now it's time for the pro box, and this. This freaking item right here, uh, I'm pretty stoked about right here. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really stoked about this part right here because it kind of brings me back to my childhood a little bit with a modern twist. <laughs> so what we have here is the Coleman Deluxe Lantern Kit. The, what do you call it, the Perfect Flow? Let me make a little bit of room here because I want to open this case up. So I don't know about you, but uh, pretty much every, everybody that took me hunting and fishing and, and camping and anything like that when I was a kid uh, had, you know, the old school Coleman lantern and you pump it up and you light the, the, um, the mantle, what do they call it, the mantle or whatever in it, it was, I think it was, it was technically called. Um, and I can't tell you how many times I've been on the pier at the beach fishing uh, with being lit with lanterns um, camping, catfishing at the river, or whatever. So this is kind of a modern twist on that old school lantern because it's in this awesome case, which I don't remember ours having. I think one, one we had was in a, in a case, um, a metal case. But uh, this bad boy has got some sticky stuff holding, holding the paper on. We'll take that off. We don't need that. So you got this really nice case right here. And on the inside, you've got your lantern. So what's different about this is you don't need Coleman fuel to light it or whatever for it to run. It actually runs on the cylinders, the Coleman cylinders. I don't really want to take this all apart. I got one down here already put together, okay? So it's real easy to put together. I'm gonna close this back up and show you the mystery spot one. Okay, okay, give me a second. How nice was that? That was almost exactly a, a second right there. So we'll put this over here and I'm gonna grab the one down here in the mystery spot. 
ba bam how familiar is that i don't know man it just uh, it's so freaking cool to me you know so as you can see here we've got the coleman propane canister in the bottom does not come with this you're going to have to buy that on your own but um y'all know where to get those and if you were a past uh got one of these refill things that we had in a past box you can refill your own bottles yeah mm -hmm. how about that so you got yourself your little propane canister there you basically just screw screw the top on there you got this bottom which is your base it's got these nice feet that fold out so that it's more stable than like this which is pretty cool because I remember ours falling over quite a bit when I was a kid because I don't remember it having as wide of a base to it. It's got your typical carrying handle so you can freak people out. I mean, Halloween's already passed, but you know, you can walk down a railroad track at night with this, freak out a lot of people. Basically it works just like the old school lantern except you don't have to pump up to get any pressure in there to, um, to light it. So you simply have right here, I don't know if you can hear that, got the fuel that comes up to the top and you light it. So if you've got a long stick or a long match or whatever, you can do it just like the old school way. It's got holes here in the bottom where you can run it up, feed it the fuel and it will light the mounts. I don't have a long match. I do have these, but I don't think that'll fit up in there and I don't want to scorch this thing because this thing's a little bit too BA, if you know what I mean. This is how you light it if you can't get something up in there. You just simply take the top off. Take it off the top. So when you get this, uh, these parts are gonna be separate. You gotta, you gotta put these on. It comes with, with those. You take this, set it in there, like so, and you got your top, or your glass, I'm sorry. Your glass just goes on there just like that. Mystery spot. Mystery spot always provides for me. You know what I'm saying? That joker's been around since mission one, the old mystery spot. Basically all you do, get ready to feed her some fuel, get your flame going down in there. You want them to char when you first go with them. There we go. Get a good char going on them. You gotta get them to char a little bit. You don't want them to burn and slap up, so you wanna blow them out. But get a good char going on it. And before it gets too terribly hot, put your top back on. Find your nut. Put your nut on there. And then you can crank your fuel on up. And we've got light! Look at that. Just like the old school lanterns, man. Freaking cool is that? <laughs> I'm ready to go catfishing or something, man. Gosh. I mean, it even sounds like the old school lanterns, man. And of course, you can turn it down, get a little less light. Put out way more light than you think they do. Um, but man, it's just, I mean, that's camping, man. That's, that's being outdoors right there, a Coleman lantern, period. I mean, you, I mean that, that, you gotta have one. And if you ain't got one, and you're a Battle Box subscriber that's pro level or higher, then yeehaw, you got one right there. Freaking sweet as that. And do the rest of the video under, under the freaking Coleman light. Probably wouldn't be too wise, but. Then of course, shut her down. You turn her down. And it'll smoke a little bit as you, I mean, it takes a little bit of time to break it in. You gotta break it in. Got a little bit of smoke going, but it won't be as smoky the more you use it. I'm so freaking pumped about that. That's just so awesome. And then of course, after it cools off, you can break it back down, put it back in your case. I recommend keep your, uh, the foam parts that are in there to help keep the glass safe, keep those. So when you put them back in the case, it's, it's tight in the case, doesn't rattle around. So that is your pro item right there, the Coleman Lantern. So now it's time for the pro plus box, which is the knife of the month. So 
Last month, we gave away a lot of stuff. A lot of, uh, you know, some lucky subscribers got some extra stuff. Kind of doing the same thing this month with the Pro Plus knife, and I'll get to that shortly. But first, let me show you what we got. So we've got the Civivi Plethoros 904 series folder right here. This thing's pretty freaking sweet. You hear me? It's pretty sweet. And I love their, gosh, everybody's trying to kill us. Don't eat that. Don't eat it. So you got this nice little case right here from Civivi. I like saying that, Civivi. <laughs> we got the Civivi microfiber towel thing there so you can keep your knife nice and clean. And I don't know if some of y'all notice this, but this is kind of the same, the same way that um, We Knives packages their stuff. You wanna know why? Because We Knives makes these. So it's kind of a subsidiary or sister knife company to We Knives so you know the quality's there because them cats know how to freaking make a knife. Check that bad boy out, ain't it sexy? He's so nice. So this one here has green G10 scales with carbon fiber inlay. It's got a really, really nice taut, taut clip right there. I like a taut clip. That way I ain't got to worry about it falling out of my pocket. It's got the Civivi C logo inlaid right there where the pivot is, man, it's nice. And it's a flipper. Cha -ching. Let me wipe it down with my cloth. Oh, it's so nice. Wipe it down with the cloth. Check that blade profile out. Man, that's a sexy knife right there. And sharp, man, it's sharp. So we got D2 steel, very, very nice high polish to it. And the ergonomics is awesome. That's a very, very, Nice blade right there. Kind of on the fancier knife side, if you like the fancy knives. Definitely a workhorse, if you're like me and you use your knives. I don't care how fancy they are, I use them. <laughs> um, all my knives look like I've, I've run them through the ringer. Your liner lock, as you can see. Just push that to the side. If you're new to knives and don't know, that's what retains your blade so it doesn't come down on you. So you just push that to the side. And Move it in, now the blade's on the inside of that lock and you can close it. So, what's, what's special about what we got going on here? So, there's three possible colors that you're gonna get. You might get this green color, it's kind of an OD green, get a tan or a black. So it'd be tan with carbon fiber or black with carbon fiber. I got the tan one here, if you wanna see what the tan looks like. So green or tan, or you want to get the black one, okay? What if you open your box and you don't get a green or a tan one or a black one? What if? Well, then you probably got one of three special ones that are going out to a few subscribers. So um, one of which, be sure I get it right, the black with carbon fiber, but it has a Damascus blade on it. So the black one of these will look like this, but it'll have that blade. But you might get the black with the Damascus blade. How about that? Isn't that nice? That's sexy right there. The sandalwood handle, Damascus blade. Wood handle, Damascus blade. And here you can see the brass I don't know if you see it on the camera, but the, the brass in there for the pivot. Look at that. Oh, son. That right there, I think that's the one I'd like to get right there. Ain't that nice? Well, there's a third one. And if you get this knife, please, dear God, post on social media that you got this one and send us some pictures of it and tag us in it because I don't have one because they're supposed to arrive in the shop today. It's a different steel. What's the steel? 154 CM. 154 CM steel, but it's copper handle. So it looks like kind of a distressed copper. It's so freaking sweet, man. Just such an awesome knife. So there's going to be some of you out there that get one of these of those three special um, Civivi knives. The wooden one, Damascus, the black carbon Damascus, or the copper handle one. That's your Pro Plus and your potential 
even more better Pro Plus if you get one of the three other potential ones that are going out there. Ye freaking haul. I love that knife. That's a good knife. That's a nice knife. Freaking awesome. Dang it, I love my job. I freaking think it's awesome. I'm all about it. Shoo wee, so that's mission 69, y'all. I'm gonna speak up a little bit because I got my lantern over here running. It might mess up my audio a little bit, but that's okay because it's freaking awesome. Recap, we've got the uh, zipper comp right there, a really cool compass that you can use as a quick grab deal on a zipper of a jacket or a backpack or what have you on a strap of a backpack. Um, you really need to understand navigation. And if you don't, maybe that item right there will kind of give you a little bit of kick in the pants to start doing a little bit of studying on navigation so that you can understand it in case you ever need it. And if you do, you got a cool little compass right there to help you along the way. We've got, obviously, the Coleman Lantern right here, uh, the modern twist to the old school lantern that uh, I remember as a kid. Um, still has that really cool kind of nostalgic feeling, uh, but in the modern twist by using the canisters that are available today. So you still get great lighting. I got it down a little bit because it obviously get brighter than that. But if you've ever used a lantern like this, you know how bright and how well they work when you're in the dark. So you get you one of them rascals right there. And of course, it's got the nice carrying case, which is a great feature. We've got the fish bones knotless rope tie right here. Really cool way to fasten down your, your cordage uh, without using knots. And there's a lot of different ways you can use it. Be sure to check out their website. They'll show you all the different ways. Um, I showed the basic way earlier, but a really cool way to, you know, make ridge lines, tie stuff down, use on guy ropes, whatever, without using a knot. Really freaking cool. Then we got the Zippo right here, the Typhoon matches. Them things right there will help you light a fire in any situation. Prove me wrong. Them things right there work. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. So it is a consumable. If you've had got it in the past, now you're getting some more or you're getting some new ones to add back into your collection. And then up here, we've got the ever so popular wool blanket right here. A great fire retardant, water resistant blanket that can be used in all sorts of situations from just keeping into your, in your car in case you need it to keep warm or as used as an emergency blanket, you know, to help somebody from, to keep them from going into shock if you roll up on an accident, to making hammocks, chairs, whatever. Garments, right there. That's how you do it. And then you got the Lord and Field strap right there to help you keep it all in check. And you got plenty more room there so that you can add more pillow, sleeping bag, whatever. Maybe even you know, slide some food in there, hide some, some snacks for late at night. Nobody else knows because your name is on your blanket. That's your blanket, your snacks in there. And then finishing it off, we've got the Civivi Plethoros Flipper folding knives right here that are freaking sexy, okay? And you're going to get potentially any of these colors and a copper and a black that I don't have right here. So really cool. Some people are going to get these two or the copper one. And then we've got the green, the tan, and the blacks of these right here. So we've got possible Damascus, and then we've got the D2 on the others. Ye freaking haul, man. Coming at you with some awesome stuff going into the holiday season. And be quite honest with you, if you already got some of this right here, stocking stuffer for your favorite friend. Stocking stuffer for your favorite friend. So that is mission 69 of Battle Box. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to follow us here on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all the social medias. You can follow us there. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you want to find out more about BattleBox, you can find us at www.battlebox.com. You can see all past missions, all past vidges, and uh, I'll see you next month with Mission 70. Yeehaw. December. Santa might show back up. Come on. What's up, Internet? <laughs> What's up, Internet? Welcome to the awkwardness that is Mission 69. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mission 69. And then that's it. That's the only time you reference.